Welcome to another vlog. This format is more informal compared to some of my sit down videos that focus on luxury, on the luxury beauty. This is a lot more casual, a lot less polished, I'm going to say, and I will do more lifestyle things in videos like this. So today we're doing something fun. It's a net a porter haul, and this is by not request. This is by, what are we, what am I trying to say? This is on recommendation from a professional stylist who happens to be my sister. So if you want to go follow her, it's dressing the woman on Instagram. They do provide services, but I'm always asking her about clothing and accessories and what fits my essence. So there are certain essence types that they look at and there are a few items she picked out for me and I don't like to do a lot of shopping, but I like to find pieces that are curated and will last year after year so the things that i purchase will not just last for the year they typically last gosh up to 10 15 years even beyond so with that we're going to look at a few key items how to integrate those things into my current wardrobe and these are all from net a -Porter. and i still have a little bit more shopping to do but i wanted to show you what i have try it on for you and with makeup i don't like to return items simply because I know what happens to the items when they're returned, they pretty much get discarded. So to me, that is a waste, which is why I don't return makeup items, even the ones that don't work for me. I will keep them just because I'll figure out something to do with them, like a wear test or something like that, rather than just throw it away. When it comes to clothing though, I know that they don't just throw things away that don't work for you. So I will be returning things that don't work for me. So it's a little bit different when we talk about fashion. I won't just keep everything, especially if the size doesn't work. Um, but we also need to look at fit. Does it fit my build? Will it fit into my wardrobe? And then seeing them in person, I think really helps a lot. So I want to do more of these videos. In fact, I need to pick up a bag um, and a belt is something else I'm looking for, a dress and um, like a blazer. This is just the beginning of my net a -Porter adventure and what I love about them. Actually, let me open something first and then I'll tell you what I love about them. This is not sponsored by net a -Porter, but once my sister got me looking at it, there are reasons why I really love that site. This first one, actually both of these boxes are quite heavy um, and this is the first box and I think it's this large because I made a mistake and I ordered two of one thing, but that might be good because if you want this, they are very short, short in stock. They are very short stocked. There aren't very many left, so I couldn't find them anywhere else either because of the style of this particular item. So let me open it up. Everything is boxed really nicely when you order from Net-A-Porter. So this is the box inside of the box. It's got a ribbon here. So there's definitely an experience with this when you order from Net-A-Porter. A couple things in here. I'm surprised that's not in a box. This one is the one I'm going to open first. I accidentally ordered two. And I know someone is going to want these, so I will return these quickly. These are by Loro Piana. And if you've been looking on their site, you know which ones I'm talking about because most of the Loro Pianas are a suede. And these are different. Oh, my hair's falling out here. Hold on. Um, one thing, I don't have a rubber band yet. I just tied this up. So my sister recommended some loafers and actually the ones she recommended i really wanted they were by oh my gosh that scared me they were by todd's and i'll put a picture here because they have a little heel and i loved the ones from last season so if you want those i'll try and link those below but they were either not in oh yeah they weren't in my size otherwise i would have gotten them i love the buckle on the front it's kind of understated oh gosh i can't do this and talk at the same time so it's kind of understated and then there were a flat version of the same shoe which i really liked also but they also don't have any left in my size and then i looked at the new season and i'll show you pictures of that one and i don't love the stitching on the front and i don't love the buckle that's on the top really liked previous season's buckle so i passed on the todds um, but let me know if you have them. They look really nice. Just I, if I hadn't seen the other ones before that, I think I would have been okay with these new ones. Then I spotted these and I love them because of the front. And it, I don't believe they're a new shoe, but um, the finish on this one is different than all the other ones that I've seen. Oh, I was starting to say what I love about Net a I've got the bag here. I'm so excited to see what these look like. I think out of all of the things I ordered, this is the most exciting item. So let's see. 
but these are the shoes and they're white loafers and at first I wasn't sure about the bottoms of these because they're not leather um, but I feel like these are going to be actually more practical and the charm here is really what I love. Let me zoom in for you. So the other ones that I've seen by Laura Piana are suede and the charm is typically silver. So what I liked is that these are not suede because I think suede's a little harder to take care of and the charms are silver. I love how these are gold. So this is the shoe. I think that's gonna be really versatile. So I can wear it with dresses, skirts, pants. And plus they're not a stark white. There's actually a little bit of a warmth to them. So here's a cream top, but you can see there's just like the slightest hint of a peach in there. I think it's a really lovely shade. So not like a white white, but it's the summer walk shoe by Laura Piana. I ordered two in 37. <laughs> So at least once going back and if these fit, I think I'll keep these. They look so, so perfect for my personality also. Um, like a practical elegance, I'm gonna say. Like a practical understated elegance. We're gonna try those on. Okay, and this is the top she recommended. It's by Jonathan Simkai. So it looks like this. <laughs> Still looks like it goes across. It's a one shoulder top. So I really wanted the blue version they had um, run out of that one though and they have this color which is also lovely so I thought I'd try this and see how that goes I'm not sure how it's gonna fit so I got a medium in this but it's a lovely uh, one of those dressed up tops that looks really easy to wear my sister has the blue one but she really loves this top so I'm gonna try it in this shade okay so this is not for net-a-porte but it looks like they carry these items on net-a-porte so Chantecai sent me over a box and I wanted to show you what they sent because we're gonna do some comparisons and also there was a question about flawless makeup and immediately I thought of a product that Chantecai makes which is interesting because Chantecai is very natural kind of looking makeup but they do have a product that I would use for the most flawless makeup and that would be the a future skin cushion and I was sent two so I'm gonna do a buy this not that um, on, I'm not sure how to do it. Well, I'm gonna do a flawless one with this one first, but then you'll see the buy this, not that for the other items. So thank you so much, Chantekai, for sending these over. So they sent over the Future Skin, and this is for the most flawless base that I can think of. And they sent me two shades so I can compare for your nude and wheat. So for those of you who are similar to my skin tone and never sure what to pick, hopefully I can help you out. We'll do uh, a look using both of these. They also sent over the, their iconic Future Skin, which is one of my very favorite base products for the most natural looking. This just really does a nice job of evening out the skin tone. They sent two shades over of this as well. We've got here Cream and Shea. So cream usually is great for the center of my face and Shea is great for the exterior of my face and then I'll blend the two. So in addition to that flawless makeup video, we'll do a buy this not that Shantakai so we can talk about the colors or the shades and the products. So they also sent over my very favorite tinted moisturizer. They sent two over, the Just Skin. And I do mix two shades together just because I am that in-between person. So in that way, I can help you figure out what to purchase. So we've got here two of the shades. So thank you so much Chantecai for sending all of these over. So I'm thinking of doing a buy this, not that with all Chantecai products just so you can see some shades side by side. I think that might be really helpful. Okay, I've got another box here. Oh, I never said what I loved about Nota Porte. So I love that they have new items constantly coming in and that you can filter or sort based on what the newest items are because sometimes I'm not sure what's new but then you can see every day there are new items and I just like to look at them and see what looks interesting. I love their selection, it's curated. Okay, so this, okay, this was not a suggestion or recommendation for my sister, but this is very much like what I would have worn when I was a teenager. So this is by Ralph Lauren and it's a V-neck cricket sweater and this is very much everything I love. I love the cable knit, I love the v-neck, and I love the stripes, so I love this color combination. And this is something I definitely would have worn in high school <laughs> and college that reminded me of that. It was a little bit nostalgic. So I'm gonna try this on. It looks a little bit cropped, but I got a medium and it said it was oversized. So I'm hoping that it works well on my build. So we'll see, but 
my sister will know exactly where I got this. In fact, in high school, I probably would have bought an extra large just because I wanted it really big and baggy and draping. Um, but we're going to try this. And then I love Citizens of Humanity denim. That's my go-to denim. It usually fits really well. And there's a pair that I've had for years and years. Like It's literally falling apart where there are holes in them. And I don't know if they're a little bit beyond repair. Otherwise, I would try to fix them. They don't even make that style anymore. I think it's the Cory, but that was my favorite fit and I cannot find it. So I'm on the hunt for something that's in that realm. And my sister suggested this brand and I know they're getting well known for their denim. So these are Kate denim. Denim is so versatile. I really like the button here with the Kate denim because it's very tailored. I know it's just a little thing, but it's the little things that make a big difference. And these are the Danielles, I believe. Danielles. Yeah, the Danielle. It says high rise, straight leg, slim fit. Designed to visually elongate the legs, these high rise jeans slide are the stove with a stove pipe with a stove pipe silhouette and the structure of pure cotton denim. That's what I love. Each hand finished pair oh has an enameled button of antique brass. So these are the Danielle fit. And I love the whispering on here. I don't think I have straight leg denim as far as I know. So excited to try these. And they look like they're gonna be long enough and high waisted because my my waist is higher anyway so high waist is kind of like just a normal fit on me so i'm excited to give these a try i ordered these like two sizes bigger so usually i'm a 27 28 i ordered a 29 sometimes 29s are too small too though so we'll give these a try it could range from a like a four to a six in pants or sometimes even a two to an eight <laughs> but then in this case 27 to 29 is where I can uh, fall as well so interested to see where these fall on me so we're gonna give them all a good try style them with some different things and see how they look excited mostly about the shoes I think so let's go ahead and try some of these on okay, I hope that you can see everything here my head might be cut off but I've got the Kate jeans on and I think these were the ones that I was I don't know, not as excited about as the other items because I feel like I have jeans that I love and Citizens are really probably my best fit until maybe now because these are pretty amazing. The way that they hit here on me, so if you're high-waisted like I am, sometimes this band is too low. So I love that there's more than enough room here. So if you're looking for something that's high-waisted and comfortable, the fit on these are really amazing. And I think that's the difference you get when you pay for premium versus something more in the mid-range. I think if you just have a few pieces and you want really well done pieces, this pair of denim specifically might be a really good investment for you because this is one of those items I don't need more of. I don't need more denim, but my sister raved about them, so I thought, let me try and see what they're like. And if you notice, I have my tributes on, so they're pretty high, um, and I have long legs. So if you have long legs, and I know some of you do, this length is great because you're going to have quite a bit of length, and if you need them tailored, you can always do that too if your legs are not as long, but I know it's a struggle for those of us with longer legs to find denim or pants in general or even sleeves that are long enough. And I noticed there's quite a bit of support here without being uncomfortable. Sometimes when the denim has a give to it, it actually is not as supportive for me here. So I have the tags on here and like I said, these were probably my least exciting item that I Got, but I really wanted to just try them because my sister raved so much about them and this is what tells me she really knows what she's doing because these basics that are done really well are worth it because to me you only need a few really nice pieces and these are worth the investment if you're looking for a really nice pair of denim that you can dress up in fact let me put on my Chanel uh, tweed jacket and then we can see what it looks like with a jacket on as well but yeah so far this is a Maybe one of the best cut jeans I've ever, ever tried. And I just have near my um, YSL clutch. But that's where a stylist comes in really handy because they have so much experience with kind of like, I see a lot of cosmetic products across brands and I'm able to tell the differences. 
She also looks at products across brands and is able to try them and give her feedback. And these are things that she loves. So anything she loves, I tend to love. And then she again has that essence in mind. I would say this is almost the perfect pair of denim. And the way I'll know if it's perfect is the more I wear it, if I pull for these and they look good every time, then I'll be able to tell you indeed they are perfect. But so far, just on initial fit, cut, and just the way they feel, is so different than any other pair of denim I've ever tried. So I definitely think I'm keeping these. These are really, really good. I have here my Chanel tweed on, a little Chanel bag that I got in Italy this summer. And same shoes, so you could see. You can see that you can dress this up or down or just be really casual. In fact, I'm gonna put some flats on here in a minute. Oh, but I think we wanna try on the Jonathan Sinkai top with this first before I change my shoes. And then we'll take a look. I kept on the denim and the heels just because I think they work really well together and the bag, but I put on the Jonathan Simkai top. Let's see, did I do this correctly? But I like that this is split right here. I don't know if I showed that. It's got a covered button on each side. I like that it's longer than normal because usually the arms are too short. The legs will be too short. So in the case of both of these, I noticed that there's enough length on arms and on the, um, jeans and then i think this might be cut on the bias the way it's falling and that's really flattering so i like that it's cut on the bias i wish they had the blue because i definitely would you can see love the blue but this green is pretty as well what do you think about the green shade i like combo so this is one of those tops that can dress up denim or you can wear it with something dressier i just wonder if it's too big so i'd love my sister's take on this to let me know if she thinks it's the right size because she's smaller than me so if she has an extra small it'll probably be small that would work for me but I do like how there's some room here because there's nothing that's really tight on this which I like I don't want anything too close fitting and it falls away really nicely right here as well Okay, I think this illustrates perfectly the value of a stylist because these two were my picks. And this, I love the idea of this. I love the stripes, I love the color, I love the cable knit, but I think the cut is not flattering. I'll have a chance to look at it when I look at the playback, but just looking at it right here, looks like it should be longer, or I don't know, it uh, seems like it's falling kind of funny. It seems boxy, like it's really wide up here. And I have broad shoulders, which is why I like a V-neck. But then there's something happening here, I don't know, that isn't working. Um, and then the shoes. These are 37, which I think are supposed to be sevens, but they feel really snug. I mean, they're cute, can you see them? I don't know, I'm still on the fence about these. I feel like they need to be more comfortable, like the Gucci loafers that I have that are more of that uh, putty color. Those are really comfortable right when I put them on as if someone had worn them. And these are not as comfortable and there's a little bit more structure to them. And I feel like the bottom part is like a yacht shoe, like a boat shoe. 
probably for the off shoe. But I like the leather on these and I like the charms and I don't think I'll find anything else like them. So let me know what you think of these shoes. At least one is going back. This one, I'm not sure. I'm gonna to have to see. I don't know, I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced by these. I might still keep looking or I might end up picking up the ones by Gucci again, but in the white because really liked those Todd's, but they didn't have them. The Gucci ones I know I already love. I'll also maybe picture some that I was considering, and I'll leave links to those and let me know which one you'd like to see or you have experience with or you love or you didn't love, but I am looking for something that's um, like a white loafer for the spring summer. But I love the denim. Oh, I just rolled them up. Same jeans. Um, and I, I really like the top, but the denim stain for sure. The top, Maybe, I'm just not sure of the size on that one. And then this is going back and then I think the shoes may go back. Let me know what you think. What should I keep and what should I send back? Oh, look at my bow. <laughs> I had no idea. Yeah, that's what happens when I just tie it in my hair. That's how slippery my hair is. So hopefully you will have seen some of these items on and me styling them. I haven't seen them yet myself. But by the time we get here, I will have done that. So hopefully I have found some things, returned the things that don't work for me, especially that extra pair of shoes. So if you're interested in the shoes, check net a By the time this goes up, it's probably been restocked. So check there if you were interested in those. I'll leave all the links below. Another thing I love about net a is that they have things that are only available there or sometimes they are in like another place. So you get some really unique finds. But I'll be looking again at bags. There was a Gucci bag I was looking at. There was a Ralph Lauren bag that looked really interesting. Um, and then let me see if I have anything else that I'm considering. I will pop up the images here because I would love your feedback on what you would like to see. I know some of you love shoes and handbags. And the great thing about fashion, which is different than makeup, I love makeup, but when I'm done with the makeup, you saw what happened when I did my declutter where I just... I didn't even think about it. I just started tossing things and they were just going away. But when it comes to fashion, what I love is that it's sustainable and that you can resell it when you're done wearing it or want something different or the fit doesn't work for you anymore. I think with jewelry and fashion, that's the case. Oh, and I love Neta Porte's jewelry. They have so many lovely fine jewelry pieces. 18 karat gold, just take a look on there if you're interested, it's like fashion and fine jewelry at the same time. I really love their jewelry selections. I think they're so amazing. Uh, so if I was gonna buy fine jewelry right now, I would be definitely looking on that site because there are some really unique pieces that are very current. But yeah, let me know what you are interested in seeing from net porte I'm happy to order it, see how it fits on me, especially if you're my similar build, and let you know how it works out. But that is it for today's video, so please take care of each other, stay well. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time.